points. Yes, but a win's a win. Yeah, I mean, that's the most important thing. You know, I mean, uh, you can talk about all the reasons that we gave back a 31 point lead. Um, they took a two point lead in the fourth quarter. Um, but all that matters is that we found a way to regain our composure, close out the game and get a really important win uh, with, with now five games to go. So um, the 20 turnovers, the 25 points, 15 for 20 in the second half. And I think in the third quarter, when they had scored us 38 to 22, I think it was like eight for 13, some crazy number. That's what I told our guys, man. Hey, I'm proud of you for finding a way to win and not completely wilting and giving it away. Um, but you know, moving forward, we can give up 25 off turnovers and 23 on 18 offensive rebounds. Terry Taylor was a man child on the glass tonight. Challenged our guys at halftime. Uh, he had eight, Goga had six. Um, so we, we will take the win, Mike, but obviously this is not nearly good enough for where we're trying to go. You get up 31. Is it just good habits that you're trying to see? And, and, and it seems like you just get frustrated when those good habits get undermined. Uh, my frustration is uh, I think we get bored with success. We got up 31 because we played a certain brand of basketball. Our defense in the first quarter was great. Mm -hmm. We had 14 assists in the first quarter, low turnovers. And then all of a sudden we think, oh, we're up 31. I kept on telling the guys, it's 0-0 zero, zero second quarter. Win the quarter. And obviously uh, we, we didn't do that. That's when things started to unravel. I hate getting up 31 early. I really do because it is, it is a recipe for I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to relax. Oh, I'm going to start doing my thing. And you get away from what allowed you to build the lead in the first place. So, um, like I said, we, we, we found a way. We're going home tonight in fifth place in the Western Conference. And ultimately, that's all that matters. Talk about that, even kind of taking a deep breath. That fourth quarter, as the playoffs slow, you know, you have a playoff game kind of after Friday. The way they competed to buckle down, mm -hmm. and also the composure came back. Yes, sir. I mean, that, that was playoff basketball the last five or six minutes. Yeah, I agree. And, and that's why, in light of the 31 point blown lead, a 33 point swing at one point, um, I'm just really kind of focusing on right now, as I told our players, Scott, how we did regain our composure. All right, find a way to execute, find a way to get stops. I believe in that fourth quarter, they only shot like low 40s from the field. So we got enough stops. We executed. We got to the foul line. I thought Bones Highland down the stretch was does not look like a rookie, uh, which is great to see. Nicola, obviously, 37, 13, and 9. Uh, Monte mid big plays, Will. Um, so that group that closed the game was uh, – I, I really liked how they responded on the road, being down to – with a team that had all the momentum. And we just didn't cave. You know, we, we fought back. And that leads us to Friday with – Minnesota, I think they've got two games to one on you. Uh, they're in a tough one in Toronto tonight, obviously. But I mean, this, I mean, this to me, Towns, Joker, Minnesota, you guys, that, that's kind of a true robbery. Oh, no doubt. I mean, um, yeah, they're up two to one on the head-to-head -head right now. The last two times, not only have they beaten us, they've beaten us bad. Let's be honest, call it what it is. Um, and, and just like us, every possession, every quarter, every game matters. Uh, I'm not sure who's winning or losing that game, but um, one game at a time. And the next game, biggest game of the year, is going to be Friday night against Minnesota at home. Should be a great atmosphere. Need our fans to come out and make that place uh, just a wild atmosphere. And then we have to do our part and, and show up and, and be a lot more physical uh, compared to the last two times that we played them. Michael, what explanation, if any, did you get for Austin? Yeah, really good question. So I asked Tony Brothers, uh, the crew chief, because uh, I watched the replay on the bench and there's zero contact. There's no, there, it's not like he hit, hit him in the face with an elbow. There was no contact. Um, he was really up into Austin's airspace. Austin turned, pivoted. And Tony said to me, I go, Tony, there's no contact on that. He, he's facing up. And he goes, yes, it, it was a malicious act. He doesn't have to make contact. So, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely talk to league about that. You know, I just watched video with Austin uh, about everything leading up to that play. Um, and it's unfortunate, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, Austin's able to get some money back. But, you know, we'll, we'll go through the, uh, the proper protocols. I know it sounds stupid. I come from a different era and all that. But if 
they're going to try to beat you. So I mean, don't you, aren't you kind of glad you got guys that are going to take any shit? I mean, they give them credit, right? Give, give Indiana credit. They got back in the game. They turned up the, the heat, the intensity, the pressure. They became the attacker um, until the last probably six or seven minutes of that game. Um, but, yeah, you want guys that are going to fight, hit, just not sit there and take it. Uh, and that's not just in regards to that incident. That's just in general. You want a team that's going to go out there and fight for every inch. And, um, you know, I think we have a bunch of guys like that. And we're going to need that. We I mean, five to go. Every one of these games matters going into the postseason uh, when you know, each possession becomes magnified. You want toughness. And, uh, you know, you can't fake that, as you know. All right. Appreciate it, everybody.